Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video sharing with you guys the items I won't be buying for 2023. So let's begin. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya and I do fashion and luxury content here on YouTube. So if that's your cup of tea, then please consider subscribing down below. It's free and it really helps me out. And today I have this video idea from Cassie Thorpe. She made this video of items she will not be buying for 2023. And I thought I would copy her idea and share with you guys my picks. All right, so the first category of things are wallets or card holders, and I thought I would just share my favorite ones with you to give you some eye candy. So I do actually use um, the same wallet all the time, which is my Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. This one right here, I have it in the beautiful rose ballerine leather with the monogram canvas, and this is my everyday wallet. I use it all the time, but I do also have the Victorine wallet in the Damier Azure, and these these are the main two things that I use. I don't use long wallets. I do also have a card holder, but I don't use that one either. So I don't need more than two wallets. And I feel like wallets and SLGs are kind of items that you have like duplicates or triplets of, which I find kind of unnecessary because you really only need one or maybe like a smaller one and a bigger one like I have, but I won't be buying any more of these items because actually they keep me from saving up for bigger items that I make want so I feel like I can save my money on that one. So the next one is designer sunglasses and I actually have so many sunglasses I think I have like 10 or something and I really only wear like two or three pairs in rotation so I thought I would share them with you guys. All right so this pair is actually my newest pair and I bought this one um, last year in like the summertime and these are from Prada and they have like a tortoiseshell and I feel like they suit me the best. I love um, sunglasses that also don't have like little nose thingy because I like to put them in my on the top of my head and then I don't have to worry about it ripping my hair out so I really love these because they also have like the pink detailing which I think is really cute then my all-time favorite pair is a pair from Mio Mio and I love Prada and Mio, Mio Mio for their sunglasses I think they're super cool and they are also not that expensive they're all in like the 150 to 200 euro price range so these are from Mio Mio and again cat eye with like a tortoise shell but a more prominent one and they do have like this Mio Mio detailing right here which I think is really cute and then for my next pair I don't know if you are like um, followed the discussion against Balenciaga but I only have one Balenciaga piece which is a pair of sunglasses and I saw this piece actually on Lorna Lux um, I follow her on Instagram I don't know if you guys know her but um, I saw this pair and I loved it so I needed to pick it up it's like a black pair and it has the bees uh, the BBs on the side and I think they look so cool like if I wear like an all black outfit I think they look really really nice and they also don't have the nose thingy and and it's like a different pair for me because usually I go for like um yeah you, you guys saw which type of um, sunglasses I like but I don't know if like I should wear them again or if I should not not worry about it but yeah these are like a black pair that I have and that I love and I do have other pairs like also one of my favorite brands is obviously Ray-Ban and I do, do also have a pair of Dior sunglasses and Gucci and other uh, brands as well but I do love luxury designer sunglasses but I feel like Similar to the card holder thingy, I don't really need duplicates of anything anymore because I do have enough stuff, so I won't be buying that for 2023. All right, the next one is actually designer sandals with one exception. So I do have the Chloe Woody sandals and I love them. I love them very much, but I actually found that more contemporary designers like Coach or Tory Burch, I love Tory Burch sandals, are so much more like so much better value for money because you also get like a full leather shoe they're also usually more comfortable because i feel like designer shoes for some reason are just more uncomfortable than other shoes to like walk in and break in and i do have my chloe pairs i don't lie 
like how um, sometimes I'm a little restricted with like the logo because I don't know I feel like the trend is kind of going away from logos and I don't want to like overdo it so yeah sometimes it's kind of restricting so I much prefer like my Tory Burch little slides I have like a couple of Tory Burch sandals I always pick them up in um, the outlet store and yeah I feel like I will be First of all, I don't actually need any shoes. Um, I, the only pair of designer sandals that I would consider is actually the Hermes uh, Bon sandals because they are so understated and so classic and you don't have like any logo. You have like the H shape of the shoe, but it's not really in your face. So I guess that, that, those would be the only ones, but I wouldn't want any like logo shoes or logo sandals again. And also kind of like the next category that I wanted to talk about is I don't need any more brown monogram bags. Like I do have, I have two examples for you guys. In total, I have like six Louis Vuitton bags. I, no, I have five Louis Vuitton bags in the brown. So either the Damier Urban or the monogram. And then I also have this Gucci bag. And it's so much monogram and so much brown bags for whatever reason. And I always look at like brown bags. For example, I love the Fendi Suka print and the brown and things like that, but I don't need any more brown bags because it's basically all I have. I only have like beige bags or brown bags and yeah, and some black bags, but I really want to stay away from that. I want to invest in more solid colored bags because I feel like they're the most versatile. And from like all of my brown bags, I essentially only wear one. Um, well, this one, which is my walk, a dog walking bag, but for um, like every day, the only like monogram bag that I like to wear on a regular basis is this one and I feel like it is because it's so so small the print isn't as overwhelming as it would be on a big bag so this is kind of why I like to wear this but um, yeah keeping my next category when it, whilst I hold this in my hands is mini bags so I brought two of my favorite mini bags for you guys which is um, the Pochette Felici and the Nano Speedy by Louis Vuitton I do have a couple of other mini bags or clutches and I feel like, first of all, the trend is going towards bigger bags again. Well, I like the mini bags because I always pick mini bags that actually do fit a lot. So you guys would be surprised of how much I can cram into this bag. But yeah, I think I have enough mini bags to say the least. And I don't like that I have to always think about like, what can I take with me, especially in the summertime when I wanna like bring a drink or a snack or whatever. I feel like it's kind of restricting me, which is kind of stupid because you have a handbag to like have your hands free and put in all your stuff. And I like that the trend is going back to like bigger bags. Um, it doesn't have to be like a huge tote bag, but like a shoulder bag or something that just fits a little more, which I really like. So I think I'm gonna, this year I'm not gonna buy any mini bags, but if I'm deciding to buy a bag, it will be a Chanel um, classic flap or um, something in this kind of uh, range, like a medium sized bags or like hobo bags, because I feel like um, they're a lot more user friendly. And I do have enough mini bags in my collection, so I'm not gonna buy any more in 2023. And the last category that I will probably be breaking once or twice, but not that often anymore. If you guys have seen my the handbags I bought in 2022 handbags, you guys will see that I basically only bought secondhand items. And the reason for that being is A, it's way cheaper. B, I kind of get it like a thrill looking for the bags and like hunting them down and like finding the best bargains and like Googling for um, additional promo codes or something like that. I think it's like, I love it. And I love the feeling when the bag comes and, I just love the bargains as well and um, new in store items like I know everybody talks about it but I feel like it's not normal anymore to find like a bag for like a thousand euros or like a thousand two hundred they're all like in the two thousands now and for a normal person that has a normal person job and that has like bills to pay and things like that I feel like 
it's not worth it to me anymore i don't want to be hustling for months and months and months and like saving all of my money and restricting myself just to be able to afford a handbag if i can buy a similar handbag for like a fraction of the price um, for example um you guys know that i really want a chanel bag and the new ones in store are like six seven thousand euros and I would rather just go online and buy a secondhand one for like 2,500 and then bring it to a cobbler, getting it repaired a little bit. I just find that it's better worth my while. So this is why I kind of decided not to buy new in store anymore, at least for like handbags, but also like accessories. I recently just bought like a Dior little scarf and it was like if you would buy one in the store it would probably be like 400 euros and i bought it on the vintage bar for like 56 euros i think it was and it's in pristine condition and i don't know i just find so much joy in finding items that are still like excellent condition and you can really trust the pictures as well and um, especially on the vintage bar i had really good experiences on i think like the vestiaire collective is also quite safe because they will help you if the item is not what it was described to be so i think you're pretty safe maybe not as much on ebay i don't know i've never bought on there any designer handbags or whatever but yeah i feel like it's just like a wet better way of shopping it's also a little more mindful and good for the environment because you're kind of recycling things that um, the other person doesn't want anymore in the selling so I will very rarely buy new in store but go for the vintage route maybe I will break it once or twice I'm not sure I don't know what will come out this year and any items that I desperately want but yeah from my standpoint now I don't think I will be buying new in store all right you guys thank you so much for watching my video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what is on your wish list for 2023 I would really like to know and I will see you guys for my next video bye guys <laughs>